I've learned that lesson by always being drained by other people's emotions and their stories. And I would get so attached and involved. And I wasn't helping them by doing that. And I definitely wasn't helping me by doing that because I was drained <laughs> the entire time. Yeah. So I learned to really set almost like these energetic boundaries. And I created a emotional distance from what they were telling me. So when they would share their story with me, I would listen, hold space for them to share it. And of course, you can be compassionate because that's what a true friend is. You can be compassionate, but without being soaked in or like drenched with those emotions and that you actually feel those emotions for them and you just have yeah. a, a, a distance between it you can be their compassionate friends but you know give them a hug when they need it make space for their story and that's it and say i'm here if you need me and that's all. I would listen, hold space for them to share it. And of course, you can be compassionate because that's what a true friend is. You can be compassionate, but without being soaked in or like drenched with those emotions and that you actually feel those emotions for them. And you just have yeah. a, a, a distance between it. You can be their compassionate friend, but, you know, give them a hug when they need it, make space for their story. And that's it. And say, I'm here if you need me. And that's all. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, what you're really talking about is not taking on that rescuer role. Oh, right? yeah. Not being like, oh, it's it's my job. It's my responsibility, yeah. which I think a lot of us who feel not good enough chronically, we have that tendency to also have that belief of like, I am responsible for everyone around mm -hmm. me, right? So yeah. it becomes very easy for us probably because this is how we achieved um love or validation in our childhood mm -hmm. like be the fixer be the person that made everyone else happy yeah and, be everyone's you know, friend. cater to mom and dad yeah. yeah 